The final vote on a bill restricting abortion in North Carolina is happening right now in Raleigh. Thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Bill Young. Republicans in the legislature have moved very quickly since unveiling their plan less than 48 hours ago. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Hyland, joining us live right now in Raleigh. Michael, I know this could be on the governor's desk maybe by the end of today. Right, and he's already made clear that he's going to veto this bill. The Senate's actually gone on break now for about an hour to go to an event outside tied into the National Day of Prayer. But the debate on this was underway earlier this morning, and Democrats have been trying last night in the House and again this morning in the Senate to either delay this vote or try to stop it from happening altogether through a variety of procedural motions that they've been raising. Those have not worked to this point. But this is the first time the General Assembly has actually taken up this issue of abortion access since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade last year. The Senate is expected to pass this bill at some point today along party lines with a supermajority of Republicans who can override Democratic Governor Roy Cooper. It would limit abortions after 12 weeks, with certain exceptions beyond that point, including rape, incest, protecting the life of the mother, and for fetal abnormalities. Abortions after 12 weeks must be done in a hospital, and an ultrasound has to be done. The doctor also has to offer the woman the option to look at what the bill calls the remains after the procedure. The North Carolina Medical Society says the bill is administratively burdensome and not evidence-based. But Republicans were saying today that it is a mainstream bill that reflects what polling shows a majority of the state would support. I reached out to Governor Cooper to ask him how soon he's going to veto this, whether it will be right away or if he's going to wait the 10 days that he has under the law to do that. And we'll keep you updated once the Senate comes back into session around 1 o'clock today, and that vote happens sometime later this afternoon. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. Michael, thank you. And obviously, this is a very emotional, very passionate topic. We're seeing supporters and we're seeing opponents that are down there at the legislative building. They've been there all morning. They plan to be there all day. And they're just watching how the Senate will vote on this abortion bill. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway continues our team coverage with reaction from both sides of this argument. Joseph. Yeah, Bill, Liz, it's been a very packed house right here behind me in the gallery of the Senate. Right now, they are on the recess, so the vote has not happened just yet. But, you know, we've already heard a couple of outbursts here today, and that was followed by Senate President Pro Tem Phil Berger warning people to stay quiet or they would clear the gallery. Now, members of the North Carolina Values Coalition are calling this a great day for the state, while the ACLU of North Carolina is calling it a tragic one. I asked the ACLU's senior policy Policy Council if the group will consider filing a lawsuit if this bill passes. Never uh, say if we're going to file a lawsuit or not. Uh, quite frankly, I have not had a chance to read all 46 pages of the bill with a close enough eye to know what the lawsuit might be, but I'm sure that the litigators are getting ready. We're very excited about the possibility of moving North Carolina to be a state that protects life instead of a destination for abortion. Now, either way, both groups say that this is definitely not the end of the fight, and they say that they will continue their conversations with lawmakers as they try to push for more legislation on both sides of this argument. Live in Raleigh, Joe.